The Global Fund Adopt a Heritage 2.0 Scheme India's First AI School What is a Currency Chest? Government forms 8-member high-level committee to examine One Nation, One Election ISRO to wake up Chandrayaan 3's rover Pragyan on 22nd of this month after it was put to sleep. India's first solar observatory mission Aditya 1 successfully launched from Sriharikota Space Center. National Council of Educational Research and Training Ramon Maxize Awards The Global Fund announced a deal with generic pharmaceutical manufacturers to significantly slash the price of a cutting-edge HIV drug. The Global Fund is a worldwide movement to defeat HIV, TB and malaria and ensure a healthier, safer, more equitable future for all. It was set up in 2002. The partners for this initiative, governments, civil society, health workers and the private sector. It raises funds on a three-year cycle, bringing longer-term predictability in the fight against AIDS, TB and malaria. The funding primarily comes from the public sector, with 92% of total funding coming from donor governments. The remaining funding comes from the private sector, foundations and innovative financing initiatives. India joined the Global Fund as a donor in 2006 and pledged 25 million US dollar for the Global Fund's seventh replenishment, covering 2023 to 25. It would make it possible to provide the advanced pill known as TLD for under $45 per person per year. The World Health Organization has recommended aid as the preferred first line HIV treatment for adults and adolescents since it rapidly suppresses the virus that causes AIDS. The Archaeological Survey of India is set to launch its innovative Adopt a Heritage 2.0 program. It seeks to invite corporate stakeholders to enhance amenities at monuments by utilizing their CSR funds. It is a revamped version of earlier scheme launched in 2017. It clearly defines the amenities sought for different monuments as per the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act 1958 the interested stakeholders will be able to adopt a monument or specific amenities through a dedicated web portal at indianheritage.gov.in the portal will provide them with comprehensive details about the monuments that are available for adoption including gap analysis and estimated financial requirements the process for selection will be carried out after due diligence and discussions with various stakeholders and assessing the economic and developmental opportunities at each monument. The selected stakeholders will develop, provide or maintain amenities in hygiene, accessibility, safety and knowledge categories. In doing so, they will get an opportunity to be recognized as a responsible and heritage-friendly entity. The term of appointment will be for a period of 5 years initially, which may be further extended up to 5 years. <music> Kerala recently introduced India's first ever AI school. It was launched by Shantigiri Vidya Bhavan in Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala. The establishment of this AI school is the result of a collaboration between iLearning Engines USA and Vedic e-school. 
the school's curriculum aligns with the national school accreditation standards which are based on new national education policy the school's unique approach centers on deepening students understanding of artificial intelligence and advanced technologies enhancing their learning journey it is seamlessly integrates ai components such as machine learning natural language processing and data analysis into various educational facets like curriculum design personalized assessments and student support it caters to students from 8 to 12th grade with various multifaceted support services they will get many benefits like support from a multitude of teachers different test levels aptitude tests career planning memory techniques and counseling besides academics this ai system nurtures the skills like interview techniques group discussion aptitude mathematical prowess writing finesse etiquette english proficiency and emotional well-being as well it equips its students to prepare for competitive examination Two cases were recently registered after RBI dictator fake notes from SBI currency chest in Kochi Kerala. A currency chest is a place where Reserve Bank of India stocks money meant for banks and ATMs. The RBI has authorized select scheduled banks to establish currency chests. The monitoring authority over the chest lies with the RBI. they are inspected by representatives of rbi from time to time whenever new currency notes are printed by rbi they are first delivered to currency chest these notes are then delivered to other banks by the banks holding the currency chest they act as cash distribution centers these currency chests are expected to distribute bank notes and rupee coins to other bank branches in their area of operations RBI takes back solid notes and mutilated notes from the public through currency chests. Moreover, if bank has excess cash balance, the excess is moved to currency chests. In a vice versa situation, when the bank is low on cash balance, the currency chest provides it. August 28, 2008, International Magazine Forbes included Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Mayawati among 100 powerful women in the world. August 30, 1928, Ras Bihari Bose and Jawaharlal Nehru founded the Independence of India League in India. Its purpose was to inspire the diaspora to remove the British rule in India. As 14 days of daylight ends on the moon, the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO has put off the payloads on solar-powered rover Pragyan that is safely parked on the surface of the moon. In its tweet, ISRO said the payloads are turned off and the Chandrayaan-3 rover set into sleep mode. The battery is fully charged on the rover and is oriented to receive the light at the next sunrise expected on the 22nd of September. The receiver is kept on. ISR tweet further adds that it hopes for a successful awakening for another set of assignments. If not, the rover will for hours stay on lunar surface as India's lunar ambassador. When the lander had captured a video of rover rolling on the lunar surface in a lighter vein, ISRO had tweeted earlier that it felt like child rover was playfully frolicking in the yards of Chandramama while the mother lander watches affectionately. The 26-kilo, six-wheeled solar-powered rover has sent several crucial data of lunar soil and rocks from near the South Pole where Chandrayaan-3 lander Vikram had soft landed on 23rd of August, creating the history. The government has constituted an eight-member high-level committee to examine One Nation, One Election. Former President Ram Nath Kovind has been appointed as chairman of the committee. Union Home Minister Amit Shah, Congress MP Adir Ranjan Choudhury, former leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha, Gulab Nabi Azad, former chairman 
15 the finance commission n k singh and others are appointed as the members of the committee law and justice minister arjun ram mekwal will attend the meeting of the committee a special invitee the elections to the house of the people and legislative assemblies of the states were mostly held simultaneously from 1951 52 to 1967 after which this cycle got broken the high level committee will examine make recommendations for holding simultaneous elections of lok sabha state legislative assemblies municipalities and panchayats keeping in view the existing framework under the constitution and other statutory provisions it will examine and recommend if amendments to the constitution would require ratification by the states they will also suggest a framework for synchronization of elections and specifically suggest the phases and time frame within which simultaneous elections may be held India's journey towards the sun began as the maiden flight mission took off precisely at 11:50 a.m. at the Satish Dhawan Space Center Sri Harikota. It took almost 1 hour and 3 minutes for Aditya L1 to begin its 125 days journey to the sun. The PSLV C57 rocket carrying Aditya L1 soared into the clear skies. with a reverberating sound and with the crowds at the ISRO expressing their happiness with whistles and claps scientists at the control center shared the smiles with each other as the rocket went up to the skies india's ambitious mission to the sun comes close after the achievement of chandrayaan 3 pslv c57 carrying aditya l1 is the lx variant with the longer strap on motors carrying high fuel capacity and quantity all the flight parameters were absolutely normal 51 minutes later after the launch first signal was received from the ship bond terminal for tracking the second part of the fourth stage in a period of 4 months aditya l1 will reach the lang range one point where the gravitational forces of a two body system like the sun and the earth produce enhance regions of attraction and repulsion aditya's l1 mission is to study the solar winds and the sun's atmosphere it carries seven payloads to observe the photosphere chromosphere and the outermost layers of the sun the corona the indian government recently granted the national council of educational research and training ncert deemed to be university status it is an autonomous organization set up in 1961 by the government of india to assist and advise the central and state governments on policies and programs for qualitative improvement in school education the major objectives of ncert and its constituent units are to undertake aid promote and coordinate research in areas related to school education prepare and publish model test books supplementary material newsletters journals and other related literature organize pre service and in service training of teachers develop and disseminate innovative educational techniques and practices collaborate and network with state educational departments universities ngos and other educational institutions act as a clearing house for ideas and information in matters related to school education act as a nodal agency for achieving the goals of universalization of elementary education ncert is an implementation agency for bilateral cultural exchange programs with other countries in the field of school education ncert also interacts and works in collaboration with international organizations visiting foreign delegations and offering various training facilities to educational personnel from developing countries the oncologist revi kanan has been named one of the four winners of 2023 ramon maxese award It is Asia's premier prize and highest honor celebrating the greatness of spirit and transformative leadership in Asia. The Ramon Maxese Awardee is annually selected by RMAF Board of Trustees 
are presented with a certificate and a medallion with an embossed image of Ramon Magsaysay facing right in profile. From 1958 to 2008, the award was given in six categories annually and they are Government Service, Public Service, Journalism, Literature and Creative, Communication Arts, Peace and International Understanding and Emergent Leadership. Bhagyasri Sate is an Indian chess player holding the title of Woman International Master. She won five times the Indian Women's Championship and Asian Women's Championship in 1991. In 1984, she was joint winner with Vasandi Unni of British Ladies Championship. She competed in Women's World Chess Championship in 2000. She is a recipient of Padma Sri and Arjuna Award. After marriage to the chess grandmaster Praveen Tipse, she changed her name to Bhagyasri Sate Tipse. She works for IDBI as an officer in Mumbai.